I feel like this classic molding is the best one these are travel friendly as they are plastic and also it has a secured lock system and it shuts with a click as you can hear someone who likes collecting red lipsticks then you can coat them with you these five shades are distinctively different from each other they have tried to match the lipstick color onto this label underneath but uh, it is not exactly the same shade it differs a bit uh, because you can't really replicate the you know bullet shade or the lipstick shade onto the paper or a label that's all for the packaging now let's get into the main review part these lipsticks are not transfer proof so as i already told you these lipsticks comes in different finishes so the lasting power of them will differ depending upon the finishes if you ask me the shade ashy red is a matte lipstick it's not completely matte but they say it is a powder matte finish and it is exactly the same but it's not matte in such a way that it dries your lips out and so the lasting power of this particular shade was better when compared to the other one which is the smoky red the smoky red is a kind of a creamy lipstick as you can see that is what i'm wearing on my lips right now you can see it has a beautiful sheen to it and it is creamy and comfortable to wear personally i do not prefer creamy lipstick because it gets into my teeth and after some time my teeth will be completely stained so i don't prefer you know creamy lipsticks i am more into matte lipsticks and i feel that there is no need of touching up when it comes to the matte lipsticks and uh, transfer proof when it comes to these ranges nothing is transfer proof all are transferable to some extent smoky red is something that attracted me towards this range it has a marble like finish on the bullet you can see it has the red lipsticks with the with a black smoky thing going on over there this really attracted me when you apply this onto your lip you might think that it gives you that marble finish but uh, but during the application you can see a bit of black somewhere and a bit of red somewhere so it is kind of a ombre kind of finish you can say and when i did this i could see it is it has evened out and it has become a deeper red for me these two shades are really pigmented i'm not sure about the other three but these two are the best pick i would say because these are really very pigmented and you get a one swipe opaque finish on your lips if you don't know i have pigmented lips and uh, any sheer lipstick will not go with my lips and i'm not comfortable wearing sheer lipsticks because it gives me that uneven look let me give a swatch on my hand so the first shade i have here is the smoky red and to be honest i did not use this shade for a couple of days so that i can film a video and then start using it but uh, i failed to film a video but and then start using it and if you look at the bullet i don't feel like using it at all because it is so aesthetically pleasing so this is smoky red as you can see it has blacks in some parts of the application and it has red in some parts of the application and um, i would suggest you to you know blend it well so that it looks good on your lips rather than having a patchy kind of lip i have here is ashy red it is a orange orangish it is a red with a orange undertone So this is a beautiful shade and you would have seen me sporting this particular shade on my most of my videos. I have tested these two. Uh, if you ask me the ashy red stayed for quite a long time on my lip since it is a matte finish. As I already told you whereas the smoky red I feel like it I feel like it goes off easily. What I notice here is the smoky red stains my lips a bit when compared to ashy red. Like I said I'm going to show you the demo and wear test so you can clearly see how it lasted on me throughout the work. I had a lot 
I had tested it with a lot of foods so you can see that you can see that they last for almost four hours on your lips and uh, in case of smoky red I would suggest you to use a lip liner and then use it because it has a glossy creamy finish these were two limited edition lipsticks but I could still find them online on Nykaa Amazon and other websites the good part about the good part about these lipsticks are they are priced reasonably they cost rupees 500 each and you get around 3.9 gram of product which lasts quite a good time according to the expiry date you can see it lasts for three years coming to the downside of this lipstick um i did not find any downside of this lipstick except that it does not last longer like a liquid lipstick and it is not transfer proof like a liquid lipstick um but you can't expect that from a bullet lipstick like this that is how they are formulated when you start eating or drinking anything you can see it fades off from the inner part and it gives you the butthole lip you need to reapply them so uh, it's easier to reapply it's easier to carry and it's uh, a bit annoying when you eat things and it get transferred everywhere i love red lipsticks and if you're someone who doesn't know which is the perfect red for indian skin tone do check out my video on my top five picks of red lipsticks for indian skin tone i will be linking that down I'll be linking that down below in the description box as well as you can find the i button over here. You can click that and directly go there. If you like my video, do hit that thumb. I hope you like this video and if you like my video, do hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And um, if you still did not subscribe to my channel, do hit that subscribe button. It, it means a lot to me. If you have used other three shades from this range do let me know in the comment section how it is and which is your favorite shade among these five so see you in my next video guys until then take care bye